Good morning, class. In the previous lesson, we have learned about girdles. We have come to know that there are two pairs of girdles. That is pectoral girdle and pelvic girdle. The pectoral girdle consists of the shoulder blade and the collar bone. The pelvic girdle consists of legs that are attached to them. Function is locomotion and also helps as body weight is transmitted to the lower limbs through the pelvic girdle. Now today we are going to learn about joints. So let us understand what are joints. What is a joint? A joint generally means a point where two or more things are connected together. A joint is the part of the body where two or more bones meet to allow movement. When two or more bones meet to allow movement. In general speaking, the, ge the greater the range of movement, the higher the risk of injury because the strength of the joint is reduced. The more the joint, the less risk of injury. These are the various types of joints we are going to learn after this lesson. We have immovable, Hinge joint, all right. So let's, let's talk about types of joint now. There are two types of joint. One is immovable joints. And the next one is movable joints. So let us understand what are they. Immovable joints. The two or more bones are in close contact, but no movement can occur. For example, the bones of the skull. The joints of the skull are called structures over here. You can see the skull over here. The bones are there. In case over here. The two or more bones are in close contact, but no movement can occur. The bones of the skull. Next one is movable joints. Movable joints allow the most movement. Bones at these points, at these joints are connected by ligament. Alright? They are connected by ligament over here. So movable joints allow the most movement. Bones at these joints are connected by ligaments. So in today's lesson, we have come to know what is a joint. It is a part of the body where two or more bones meet to allow movement. Two or more bones meet to allow movement. And we have come to know the more the joints, the higher, less, the less risk of injury. So the more joints are there, the risk of injury is very less. So joints, they are of two types. One is immovable joints. Next one is movable joints. So immovable joints, when two or more ones are in close contact, but no movement can occur. For example, the bones of the skull. As you can see, the bones of the skull over there. And the joints of the skull are called sutures. Movable joints allow the most movement. Bones at these joints are connected by ligaments. All right, so they are connected by ligaments over here. So class, this is what we'll be learning for today.